today I'd like to take this opportunity to answer some questions about black women and hair. A hot comb figure is prominently in the childhood memories of many a black woman. I'm Tatiana. I'm 20 years old. Jamal Penn, February 19, 2000. Excuse me, February 19, 1989. Hey, my name is Rebecca. I'm 25. Just not ready for that yet. Just not ready. My name is Ariel Evans. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. How do I feel about natural hair? I love it. I really do. Natural hair is going back to the roots, going back to basics, going back to who we truly are as a people. Not to say that people with perms are somehow less black or less of a person. I feel like natural hair is what people should uh, be embracing in their lives. Um, of course you have a choice, like what you want to do. But I feel like you should try to do something with your own hair first and, and make that work for you. But I just feel, I don't know, empowered by the whole natural hair movement, if you want to call it a movement. I want to do a quick teachable moment, so let's begin. Natural hair means that a hair has not been treated with any chemical relaxers. A relaxer is a process by which tightly coiled strands are chemically relaxed to create straight styles. And a black woman who chemically straightens her hair is not trying to be white. Guys prefer uh, girls with confidence, and the girls with confidence are usually the girls with straightened hair because that's what, you know what I mean, the, uh, you know what I mean, that's what America, or just, you know what I mean, tells you is okay. So the girls will be confident once they look like the girls on TV. And, and that confidence, guys are like, okay. It like, kind of creates a, mis like a mystery, like, like, why is she so confident? Makes you want to know her, get to know her, you know what I mean, see what's up. I feel like that depends on the guy, but most of my friends, most of my guy friends, it seems as though they're more into girls with weaves and permed hair. If you asked me that question two years ago, I would have told you, guys like girls with straight long hair, whether it's a weave or your own hair or a perm, they just like straight long hair, straight long hair. So if you were doing those three things, straight, well two things, if your hair was straight and your hair was long, you were like on the money. Like you definitely had a man, like if you had straight long hair. But I mean, you find a few guys out there that can appreciate a chick with her natural hair, cause it's like, okay, she doesn't have to wear weave. When we're getting busy, I can pull on her hair. Like, it won't come out. Like, I don't know. Like, you find a few guys that appreciate girls like that, cause I guess it makes them feel like the girl is so confident in herself that she doesn't have to go out and get a weave. She doesn't have to get a perm to look good. Well, I, I, in my, personal experiences. Yes, I think I do prefer girls with locks. Absolutely. And and I don't know if it's if it's the um if it's the exotic part about it, like oh she has locks, so let me be with her or I like that or it's different, so let me go. I've been like that since I was younger, like I used to be like, yo, this girl has dreads, like, and this is before I even gained the knowledge of what, like, you know what I mean? Like how the perms and stuff is killing the roots and all, like I didn't, I just thought it was so different and so like ill, like I'm like, wow, that's, that's, that's official. Like nobody has that and that's supposed to be, and I knew vaguely, you know what I mean? That's supposed to be bad, but that's something good. Like, you know what I mean? Like she looks good though. Definitely, I liked it. Like I loved dreads. So it's like, yeah, but at the same time, guys like everything, you know? If it walks, if it talks, they'll holler. Now I just think that guys have their own preference. To each his own, I think guys have different preferences, and I'm not gonna say if it's right or if it's wrong, but some guys do prefer natural hair or permed hair or weed, whatever have you. 
I don't know if you ever heard, but like a lot of guys will say, I want a girl I could take a shower with, her hair get wet, and she don't have to like rush out and you know do all this stuff to it. Like it could just be there, like Spanish girls or whatever. Like they can get their hair wet. Can't say the same about black girls' hair, or can you? I might get my hair wet, just know afterwards I gotta you know do my twist out and something else, but. You've heard that, right, before that guys was, uh, no? Okay, <laughs> I'm not like that. The weave. It's the addition of hair that you bought to the hair that you grew. Black women get weaves for all kinds of reasons. To add length, to add fullness, to experiment with different looks without altering their real hair. The list goes on. Remember this about weaves. There are generally two categories. Synthetic hair, which is, well, synthetic, and human hair, which came from an actual person. If our hair is much longer today than it was yesterday, it is safe to assume we probably got some added in. And yes, it is our hair. We paid for it. But not all black women with long hair are wearing weaves. And no, it's not polite to ask. No, we don't shampoo our hair every day. Yes, we are still perfectly clean. They don't stink. They smell really good. Right now, they smell like coconuts. And I like that. I like coconuts. An afro, that small or voluminous halo of highly textured hair that floats above some black women's scalps, does not mean that she's about to set off the revolution. Is there some type of underground movement? And I'm just like, movement? Where's the movement? Like, what movement are you referring to? You know, you have natural hair. Isn't there some movement, some underground movement? What's that about? And I'm just like, I have no idea what you're referring to. Like, I don't know about any movement. If there is one, I wasn't invited. Daily routine. I never used to have a daily routine. I used to just get up and go do a twist out. Probably every other day, you know. Use the as I am, twist the fine cream. You know, just unbraid it and leave the house. It's really easy, it's simple. Daily routine. <laughs> For my hair, I don't have a routine. Like, my routine is go to bed, sleep, wake up, deal with it in the morning. Like, before, I was all about twisting my hair before I went to sleep, putting on that satin cap. If your black friend spends the night, she may wrap her head in a silk scarf. It's because she wants to preserve the smooth style that she spent many hours to achieve, and your rough cotton pillowcase is gonna frizz it up you know, sleeping like this, being careful not to move so it didn't fall off during the nighttime. Now it's just, however I go to, I just go to sleep like this. Really, like I'll go to sleep like this and in the morning I'll wake up, if it's flat on one side, I pick it out or like try to do something with it in the morning, but I'm really bad when it comes to hair routine, hair maintenance kind of stuff. And now I'm like, I get up, grease, 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 you have, you have to grease, like, well, maybe not too much grease, but you have to, like, provide some kind of moisture for your hair. I feel like that's, like, the key to any hair, like, natural hair. People get their stereotypes and general knowledge about natural hair from Google, YouTube, or they might just go to a natural friend. Word of mouth. People don't do a lot of research, like, you would know that from researching. You would have to research to know that people don't, like, you know, like, it's like, wait, how could you know, how could you think that if you looked up even the first thing about natural hair? Google. Everybody Google everything. So it's like people are finding everything on Google, and Google is just telling them whatever. It's like so. That's yeah. Google. They Google everything. What's good oils? Oh, peanut oil. Put it in your hair, and they'll do it. But it's all trial and error. But they'll do it. I think most people get a um, majority of their natural hair information from YouTube, if not hair blogs. Um, and maybe from other people who have natural hair, but maybe more so now than before. I just know like when I was transitioning, because not so many people rock their natural hair, I couldn't really get information from there about natural hair. And even though I had natural hair, it's like, at the age, that tender age of 10 is when I got a perm. So even though you had natural hair for 10 years of your life, you really don't remember what that 
was like, what products you use. You don't have that kind of like, I guess, firsthand information. So you have to turn to other outlets such as social media to get information about natural hair. There is nothing dreadful about dreadlocks. They're also not a sign that someone smells, sells, or smokes marijuana. People will say, hey, you got the weed? It's like, no, I don't have weed for you. Like, <laughs> why would I have weed? Oh, because you have jets and you're Rasta, so you have weed. No, I don't. I don't have weed. I don't have any weed for anybody. If anybody's listening, I don't have weed. And by the way, they're locks, not dreads. Personally, when I was younger, I used to call them dreadlocks and I didn't really care. And then as I got older, I realized, okay, why do people call them dreadlocks? And then, then I started researching and it's like dread. What does dread mean? And it's like a negative connotation. So it's like, why am I? No, this is not negative. So I'm down to locks now. I think that sometimes when people talk about natural hair and they um, forget to include locks, they they're now think they're not thinking of locks because I still feel like there's still a, a bit of a negative connotation when it comes to locks as um, because you don't comb it it's quote unquote unkempt so it's like you're not doing anything to it when that's totally not the case because you have to twist it and you have to grease it and you have to wash it and it's, they still have maintenance to do. Okay, I have a problem with like YouTube people because a lot of YouTube people look a hot mess and then they'll get on YouTube and go, okay, this is what you do. You take it and you twist it to the left because if you don't twist it to the left, it's going to fall out. And they're like, what? No, it's not, it's not what's going to happen. It's not going to fall out. Like, what is wrong with you? And then they'll be like, oh yeah, this is the product I use and then they'll show you like a whole draw for the things and like okay yeah so I use this in the morning at 9 a.m. and then by 5 p.m. I spritz this in there and it's like you know stop telling people to do this like stop <sighs> people just find find out for yourself like what's good for you be confident in who you are and if you do decide to get a perm don't do it because you feel that your natural hair is not beautiful or you have to, I guess, conform to like the ideas of society. You don't have to like, natural hair is free, it's big, it's fun, it's hard, but it's soft. You don't have to be Rastafarian to have locks. If you are Rastafarian, you don't have to have locks. So th there was a time where um, Rastafarianism and locks were um, the same, one and the same, but they're, they're separate. So if you are afraid to get locks because you don't want somebody to think that you're Rastafarian, because maybe you're just not into that, don't be afraid because it's not, it's not like how it used to be. You, you can have one and not be the other. Seek knowledge, you know, about it. Seek knowledge about all things and then through, through that, you know what I mean, you're, like you'll find, you'll find your direction, you'll find where you, um, You'll, you know what I mean? You'll get to where you need to go as far as um, hair and anything else. Since becoming natural, uh, my perception of myself has changed a great deal. I do miss my, my hang time sometimes, but it has changed the way I see myself a great deal. And because it has changed the way I see myself, it changed the way people see me. And I don't plan on straightening it to find a job. Hair to know. I go on my interviews with my hair like this, with Sheila Rotha in a fro. Even though I'm not gonna be going to work every day with my hair in a fro, I do my nice little updos, my little pink curls and stuff like that. But the reason being is because I want you to know this is what Sheila looks like. Sheila can look like this. So if you hire me, there's a possibility that Sheila will look like this and it should be okay. And I'd rather them just have that idea of natural hair like this, then, you know, people be trying to hide it, put it in like a, you know you're not going to work with your hair like that every day. I just rock Sheila like this. If you hire me, you hire me. If you don't, you don't. I always used to wish I had straight hair. I had to get a perm at one point like every other month. 
because I wanted my roots to be all slick and straight. I permed my hair to the point where I had no hair. You know, like now, with no perm, my hair is better. It's stronger, it's more versatile. I can straighten it if I want to. All I need is a hot comb. You know, like perm is not a necessity, neither is weave. I mean, you can add a piece every now and then, you know, if you feel like doing something different, but all this extra stuff out here that makes you spend more money is really not necessary to be beautiful. Don't bully people. That That's, oh my gosh, that's a big thing now with this whole movement and this whole um, surgence of people going natural. They start bullying people. So it's like, now I have my natural hair and I see homegirl with a perm. Why are you having, why do you have a perm in your hair? Don't you know that that's killing your brain cells? What is wrong with you? You're evil. You need to go natural and be, be right. Be how you was made. And, it's like everybody has their own journey, everybody has their own process. If that person wants to be wants to have a perm, let them have a perm. i I feel like there's le there are levels to this. Well the first thing I thought of when I thought of natural hair is the jokes. Because I I used to joke a lot on people, so like uh, <laughs> a lot of jokes people use on people with natural hair is like naps. I was raised in a Rastafarian household, so a lot of people had locks, fresh. Um, life, grease, grease is very important. Um, time and patience, um, it's versatile. Um, I feel like once you have natural hair, you'll start loving yourself more because you're, you're loving who you are 100%. Not saying that if you have a weave, you don't love yourself 100%, but I feel that when you have your own hair, it's more of a love that you're giving yourself because you're loving what you look like and not what someone made you look like. Africa. Natural hair rocks. My hair rocks. Sheila rocks. You rock. I rock. So, <laughs> yeah. That's it.